Have you ever wondered how I make this image of my own in Beat Battle? It's pretty simple and I will show you how I do it. So this is what I have. So what you want to do is just click on that little BF over there. Then you just choose any name frame. If you don't want then that's okay. It will be easier for you. But I prefer to choose it because it's not very good. And now what you want to do is to go and screenshot it. And then you might want to go and airdrop. It's much easier if you use it on iPad. But if you're okay to use it on mobile, then that's great. Next, you move to your sketchbook app. If you don't know how to use sketchbook, then watch a YouTube on how to use sketchbook. Okay, now I want you to put that aside. Then press new from image. And then put up right up. And you see that the picture of the game that you airdrop it to your phone. And now you just click on the image. Then press create. And now you're over here. And there are some parts that I will be showing you in sketchbook. Choose eraser. This is how I go and erase it for the previous image I go and do for the community post. Now I want you to go and press add layer. Then I choose color right now. What you want to do, go and cross out the part that you don't want. This way you won't get confused on what you want to erase and what you don't want to erase. Then you choose eraser and now you go and start erasing the parts that you want. I erase the background so that I can add another background in this image. So next we are at Punkypedia. I recommend you go and use this if you want to use your background or characters. I will be using the ground in Freaky Machine. This is what I will be doing. So you want to hold the image and save the image. Or you can do this step. Double click on the image and then you save it. Like this. And now you have the background okay so if you want to have your character i'll be choosing the vs opera guy characters this is why i'll be choosing it so i press on it and then wait a few seconds or i have to go and press double time and then you'll be over here this is all the characters inside the mode and here's the funkypedia of it so there are a lot of characters you can choose for here for your background image. Now I'll show you how I get the image. So I go down here, press save image. So we basically do the rest for the other characters you want to add. I'm only going to add three of it. So now go back to sketchbook, add another layer, then press on that layer and move it back. Now press that gradient thing and choose color green. Well it seems that there are some white parts I forgot to erase so I think it's time now for me to erase it. If you guys haven't have it like this then you don't have to erase it. So we are done. Now let's add the image. So I press on the image thing. Press. And here you can see is all the characters and backgrounds I have. Now just choose the background. Now you add your.
your characters inside. Okay, so now we're done. Now, I want you to save the image like this. I hope this video was helpful and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.